Hi everyone! Welcome to Live Interactive English. I'm Mike, and I'm Rainbow, and we're back with supermarkets. You know, supermarkets. It's everything you need. Everything. All at once. All at once. Part two. Part two.、Well, today's part two. We both love supermarkets. Do, we talked we about、do. that yesterday. So, in an average week, Rainbow, how many times will you go to your local supermarket? I would go about twice a week. Okay, yeah, I think I'm about the same. I would try, and I think maybe you too. I think in Taiwan we might go a bit more often because it's so close it's to home. It's close, and I know my kitchen. I don't have a lot of space、Me、in、neither. my kitchen. Me neither. So I kind of gotta go back. So yeah, probably two or three times, maybe three times if I'm cooking a lot. Yeah. And when you go, what are sort of the top five or ten things you almost always buy when、mm. you go? There. I always buy some kind of toiletries. I think. Oh, okay.、Yeah. Shampoo, toothpaste, yeah, soap. I like to try kind of out、stuff. new things. Okay. So you know, I'll walk around and pick up something small.、Mm, yeah. Yeah. Often when I see a new product, a new flavor, yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta yeah, buy it. I、yeah. always think of my my big five. I、What's、call them big the、five? big five: tomatoes, <laughs> lettuce, cucumbers. <laughs> Uh, or green peppers, the big, not spicy pepper, yeah, and onion,、okay. and I'll put those in almost any salad that I make. Nice. I might put in some other things too. Nice. But if I'm at a supermarket, I always look for those one of those five things because I probably need it. And then maybe you know chicken. I always get rice, tofu. Tofu.、Yeah. That's one. That's a good one to put on there. And you know salt, pepper, yeah, things. garlic. Garlic. Oh, that's another one. That's, that's one of the probably, big five. I, I think. should say the big six. Yeah. Probably now. Yeah. That's a good one. I should add in there. So, what about you guys? Do you go to the supermarket? Do you help your family shop? Do you like to do your own shopping? You can chat about that. But for now, we're going to be reading part two of our article. I'm going to make a list. Yeah. Tofu on there. Big ten. Supermarkets are experts at sales. To stay in business, supermarkets develop many ways to get people to spend more. Cash registers sped up transactions. Shopping carts let customers carry more, and coupons encourage extra business. They also learn where to best place products. If milk is in the back of the store, you'll walk past hundreds of tempting items to get it. Supermarkets know all about you. Most supermarkets today have membership programs that offer customers bigger discounts. Supermarkets track all your purchases, which informs them what you're likely to buy. Modern stores collect additional data by tracking your phone. They use it to learn the most personal details about each customer, like whether they're pregnant, even before anyone else knows. Supermarkets, everything you need, all at once. Part two. You know, supermarkets are so smart. There's a lot of psychology that goes into planning what goes where. Is it a top shelf item, a bottom shelf item? How many types of the same item so that you can pick the one they want to sell the most? Which things they put on sale? These are all really carefully thought out because supermarkets are basically experts at making money, getting you to buy things, and making everybody happy. Let's get to the article, and that's kind of what we talk about next. As we see, supermarkets are experts at sales, and yeah, as Rainbow was saying, they don't just sort of just throw things up on the shelf and say, "Yeah, go buy stuff, whatever. We got stuff. You need stuff." Let's do some business. No, they think about it very carefully very. to get you to probably spend a little bit more money than you planned, and to also be happy when you do it. You think you're getting a really you good do. deal. You do. Oh, I'm a smart shopper. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, you're yeah, just yeah. a puppet, and they are playing with you. As it says, to stay in business, supermarkets develop many ways. 
to get people to spend more. That's right. Also, I mean, with how they put the products out there, the type of lighting and music they oh, play, oh, it's so important. The color inside the store, all of these、Some、things、smells. can really help shoppers spend more. Here's another thing that they can do to make it easier to make money from you. Cash registers sped up transactions. Back in the old days, they probably had to add up everything、mm-hmm. you Write bought it down. using math and a pen and a paper. But now, of course, we have these little computers, these cash registers, automatic. So that lets everything go faster. Shopping carts are another thing that we find in supermarkets, right? You don't find those in convenience stores. That's right. Shopping carts let customers carry more,、mm-hmm. and if you have more space and it's easy, yeah, why not? Buy more stuff, and coupons encourage extra business. This is when things are being discounted. When they are on discount, you can cut these out of newspapers, magazines, and of course find them online. And that will get you, you know, it's ten percent off or buy one get one yes, free. Spend more. It will probably get you to buy and spend a little bit more you pl- than you planned because it's such a good deal. I've got a coupon. They also learned where to best place products.、Mm-hmm. If milk is in the back of the store, you'll walk past hundreds of tempting items to get it. And of、yep. course, everybody needs milk, right? So as they're walking past these like twelve aisles, they're like, "I want that, and that's on sale, and I want that too." By the time you get to the milk, your cart's half full.、Mm-hmm, absolutely, you'll find things like bread, fruit, vegetables,、yeah. maybe rice, toilet paper. Yeah. These things almost Batteries, everyone buys. Small things. All at the back of the store, so that you have to walk past everything to get it. And yeah, maybe you'll pick up a few things、Smart. on the way. And not only do supermarkets have a lot of information about how you shop. They might even have information about you, you, the shopper. It says supermarkets know all about you. <gasps> Are they spying on you through social media? Well, no, hopefully not. But it says most supermarkets today have membership programs that offer customers bigger discounts. Often, in many stores, you'll get encouraged to sign up. Give them your email. They send you information, and they get to know more about you and what you like to spend your money on. Supermarkets track all your purchases, which informs them what you're likely to buy. They want to know you as a as a shopper, so that they can send you and let you know about things you might be interested in. Now, inform is the verb form of the noun that you definitely would have heard of, information. So, information is. Facts, right? So to inform means to tell you about these facts. So when you are a member of a supermarket, they track all your expenses. So when they call up your name, beep beep, they'll see everything you've ever bought, which informs them or tells them about your habits. I have a sentence for you. Please inform me of any changes to the schedule. So please let me know if there are any changes. Okay, modern stores collect additional data by. By tracking your phone, they use it to learn the most personal details about each customer, like whether they're pregnant. Even before anyone else knows, they are being spies. Really? Yeah.、That's, They'll find out if you're pregnant. That's why I get all these baby milk ads. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I think you're pregnant. I'm so happy. All right, back to the article. Hopefully, I don't get the baby milk ads or something's <laughs> gone wrong. Back to the article, though. It says additional. This is another word we saw there. We'll get additional information about other things when we add things. That is addition, right? To add two and two. So additional is just talking about more extra beyond what you expected. If you have additional time this morning, well, you were working very efficiently. Good for you. You have extra time. If you're going to buy some additional things along with what you've ordered, you just want to have some extra things. You're going to add on things and stuff like that. For example, Gwen remembered some additional details about the robbery. And contacted the police. So when she was there, they interviewed her. She told her everything she remembered. But later on, 
She remembered more or additional information. And next we have the adjective pregnant. No, Mike cannot be pregnant. Only hey. women, probably right now, can be pregnant. Most likely, pregnant means to grow a baby inside of you. So to be pregnant, or she is a pregnant woman, or she is a pregnant person. She is pregnant with twins and due in three months. That means she has two babies in her belly, and in three months they'll be popping out. Okay,、yeah. If, let's go ahead and、hmm? take a break very soon, and then we'll come back to find out more about the supermarket. And no, Mike is not pregnant, and he probably won't be pregnant anytime soon. It's my pizza baby. Oh, that's that's real. It's cute. Food baby.、Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello， 大家好，我是 Hanny。我们在第一天的课程读到。第一家成功的超市是在一九三零年在纽约开幕。那从那之后啊，超市就变得越来越大，越来越好，然后也越来越受欢迎。为了持续经营，超市就发展出许多方法来让人们多花钱，像收银机就加快了交易速度，购物车让顾客拿更多的商品，优惠券呢则鼓励额外的消费。还有啊，这个产品的摆放位置也是一门学问哦，像是把牛奶摆在商店的。后方，那你就会需要经过好几百种诱人的商品，你才能拿到牛奶。等到你拿到的时候，这个购物车可能都已经满了。好，那么现在呢，大多数超市都有提供顾客更多的折扣的这种会员方案，他们会追踪你的消费，那就可以知道你有可能会买什么。那现在商店呢，还会透过追踪你的手机来收集额外数据，用来了解每一位顾客最私人的细节，甚至像是是否有怀孕之类的。好，那么单字 inform 它是个动词，表示通知、告知。Additional 则是形容额外的、另外的或是附加的。Pregnant 这个形容词则是形容怀孕的。那这边两个重点，我们进入文法时间。好，我们来看第一个重点是 get、let、have 的用法。好，那首先我们来看看 get， 它可以指使得或者是让什么什么做什么什么，它带有使役意味。那么 let 跟 have 则是使役动词。我们看到 let 它可以表达让或是允许 ，have 则是表达要求或命令。那来看看他们的用法哦。首先在表示主动的时候呢，我们可以用 get 受词 to 加上原形动词来表达使得或是让什么什么做某事。那如果是用实义动词 let 或是 have， 他们用法是在后面接受词，直接接原形动词去表达允许或是要求什么什么做某事。所以要看到 get 的受词后面是 to 原形动词，那么 let 跟 have 后面受词是直接接原形动词哦。举例来说 ，He couldn't get the kids to behave. 他无法使孩子们守规矩。They didn't let him speak. 他们不让他发言。在看到表示被动的用法时，我们会用 have 或者是 get 加受词加过去分词 PP 去表达安排别人做某事，请人做某事。那如果是用 let 的时候呢，会在受词后面接 be 动词，再加过去分词 PP。所以呢，我们看到 have 跟 get 受词后面直接接过去分词 PP， 但是 let 的受词后方则是用 be 动词加 PP， 只是啊这个用法不常使用。我们看两个例句。I got my watch fixed yesterday. 或者是 I had my watch fixed yesterday. 我昨天请人帮我修理手表。Stand up and let your voice be heard. 站出来，让你的意见被听见。好，第二个重点是 W H 疑问词加上不定词 to V 的用法。W H 问词像 what, when, where, who, which, how， 它们之后啊可以接不定词 to v 来形成一个名词片语。那这个名词片语呢，就可以当主词、受词或是主词补语用，就跟 W H 问词加主词加助动词加动词这样的句型结构意思相同。举例来说 ，I don't know how to answer the question， 就相当于 I don't know how I should answer the question， 我不知道该如何回答这个问题。好，接华课文中。The future of supermarkets is online. Many industry experts predicted that future supermarkets wouldn't have cash registers. Instead, you'd go in, grab your items, and an app would charge you as you walked out the door. Recently, however, online supermarkets have become more popular. 
Why leave home when you can click a button and have your groceries brought right to your door? Supermarkets have changed a lot, but they're still fulfilling their purpose, selling everything you need all at once. Just think of how much time they've saved the world. All right, as we get to the end of our look at supermarkets, let's look into the future. The future of supermarkets is where? No、online. surprise here. Of course, it's online. That's where we'll be doing most of our shopping in the future. Makes sense. Many industry experts predicted that future supermarkets wouldn't have cash registers. Ooh, they're gonna replace all the people. Instead, you'd go and grab your items, and an app would charge you as you walked out the door. We already see that in some self-serving convenience stores, and actually, that's amazing because it's so efficient, and it's already happening. And I'm excited for it. Mike doesn't seem to be excited for it, but、yeah. I predict that it's all going to be happen sooner than we think. Well, it might, but then I also predict that many people. Won't have jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yep. I think people having jobs and food、True. and money and a home is is a good thing. To predict is to sort of guess or tell or、mm, basically know no, if you have、future. special powers,、mm -hmm. but you're kind of guessing what will happen in the future. A guess is really when you have no information and you're just. Picking something.、Mm -hmm. When you predict something, well, maybe you have a bit of information. Maybe you've studied this before. You're、trends. kind of an expert, and you can kind of give me a good guess or an educated guess. A good example is when you watch the weather report. They're predicting what the weather will be tomorrow. Yeah. It will probably be close to what they say, but of course, you can't predict anything a hundred percent because you can't see the future. But you can do it fairly well when you predict. For example, it's hard to predict who will win the election. We have information, but that's not、we're、making not、sure. it easy. So we're still kind of guessing. Back to the article. Recently, however, so yes, maybe in the future, online shopping will become、uh, very, very popular. But recently, however, online supermarkets have become more popular. So not the、uh, sort of. Person-free shopping in the stores where you just scan everything on a computer. Today you can do it from home using an app. Why leave home when you can click a button and have your groceries brought right to your oh, door? Oh, so as, convenient! As we mentioned during COVID-19,、yep. this became super popular. Supermarkets have changed a lot, but they're still fulfilling their purpose, selling everything you need all at once, whether online or in person. Just think of how much time they've saved the world. That's right, because time is so important nowadays. To fulfill means to meet the requirements of something. So if I say supermarkets fulfill my needs, that means they give me everything that I need and maybe some of what I want. I have a sentence for you. The president fulfilled his promise to lower taxes. So he promised it, and he made it happen. He fulfilled it. Okay, so that is the end of our article. We have a "What do you think?" question, and I will ask you、okay. what you think. Do you prefer shopping at supermarkets or buying groceries online? Why? I think I already know your answer, but I'll ask you anyway. I prefer buying my groceries at the supermarket、mm. because I've never bought anything like that online、okay. ever. Okay. Okay. I would I would probably still feel better if I. You know, had the app and did, just because when you go to the supermarket, especially with fruit and vegetable, you can pick it up. You、yeah. can see you how can fresh.、Choose. I'd be、you、afraid that.、It. Yeah, I'd be afraid I'd get my box of online groceries and oh, this tomato's old、yeah. and the lettuce、yeah. looks kind of tired. I agree. And, I agree. So it's kind of nice, especially with fresh things. Yeah, fresh fruits.、Um, it's nice to kind of pick them up and squeeze them and smell them and stuff like that. But yeah, it takes more time and it's certainly less convenient. Thanks for joining. Joining us, guys. Maybe we'll see you down there in the produce section. I will be、uh, smelling the garlic, and Rainbow will be applying her her cosmetics or her <laughs> toiletries to her face, and we'll all be looking for great discounts. So we'll see you around the supermarket. Until then, take care of yourselves, and bye bye. Bye.
，许多产业专家预测未来的超市不会有收银机。那你只要走进门，拿起商品，当你走出门的时候，再透过应用程式付款。不过呢，最近网络超市也变得越来越流行。你在线上选好你要的日常杂货，然后就会有人帮你直接送到家门口，完全不用出门，真的超方便的。而课文最后提到说，虽然超市已经产生了很大的变化，可是他们依旧是在履行他们存在的目的，也就是呢，贩卖给我们所需要的一切，一次搞定。好，那我们最后来看单字 predict， 它是动词，表示预料或是预言。那么 Mike 老师解释时，他有提到 educated guess， 就是 e d u c a t e d 这个 educated， 那这是用来描述说有根据的猜测，那表示说是依据过往经验啊或是知识所做出的有根据的猜测，而不是乱猜瞎猜而已。好，下一个单词 fulfill， 它是动词，表示实现、达到或者是履行。好，那么以上是今天的讲解，同学别走开，马上回来哦。Supermarkets are experts at sales. To stay in business, supermarkets develop many ways to get people to spend more. Cash registers sped up transactions. Shopping carts let customers carry more. And coupons encourage extra business. They also learn where to best place products. If milk is in the back of the store, you'll walk past hundreds of tempting items to get it. Supermarkets know all about you. Most supermarkets today have membership programs that offer customers bigger discounts. Supermarkets track all your purchases, which informs them what you're likely to buy. Modern stores collect additional data by tracking your phone. They use it to learn the most personal details about each customer, like whether they're pregnant, even before anyone else knows. The future of supermarkets is online. Many industry experts predicted that future supermarkets wouldn't have cash registers. Instead, you'd go in, grab your items, and an app would charge you as you walked out the door. Recently, however, online supermarkets have become more popular. Why leave home when you can click a button and have your groceries brought right to your door? Supermarkets have changed a lot, but they're still fulfilling their purpose: selling everything you need all at once. Just think of how much time they've saved the world. I'm Carolyn, and I'm Matt. And today we're playing a game called Guess the Bear, a game where we each have three cards with sentences on them, and a word or phrase in each sentence has been replaced by the word bear. We each have one minute to guess the bear, and Matt, you are up first. I'm up first. Yep. So、okay. let's put one minute on the clock. All right, ready. Okay. Your first word is an adjective. Your offer sounds bear, but I can't accept it at this time. I can't have chocolate in the house. It's too bear for me. Oh,、um, tempting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Next word is also an adjective. He gave his seat to a bear woman on the bus. Becky is bear with her first child. You must be pregnant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Your last one is one word and it's a verb.、Uh, the politicians all swore to bear their promises while in office. That item isn't available, so we can't bear the order. Oh, um, bear their promises while in office. Um, it's not keep. Uh, so because keep your order. Um, yeah. Um,、uh, can you say it one more time, quick? The sec. Uh, the politicians all swore to bear their promises while in office. That item isn't available, so we can't bear the order. Fleet? No. Fulfill. The fulfill. politicians、yeah. all swore to fulfill their promises while in office. That item isn't available, so we can't. Fulfill、ah, the okay, order, okay, yeah. Okay, but okay. the other two you got tempting、okay. and、uh, pregnant. Okay, great. So your turn now. Let's see、okay. if you can get th- three for three. Okay. All right, one minute. Let's begin. All right, your first one is a verb. One word. Okay. We regret to bear you that the event has been canceled. If anything changes with the schedule, please bear me. Inform. Yes. Okay. Your next one is another verb. One word. My brother correctly bared the outcome of the football game. I bear that it will snow sometime in the next two weeks. Predict. Yes. Okay. 
And your last one is an adjective. Okay. If you sign up now, you'll get Bear member benefits. The company plans to hire 10 Bear employees this year. Read them again, please. If you sign up now, you'll get Bear member benefits. The company plans to hire 10 Bear employees this year. <laughs> new? It's uh, It's an adjective, right? It is an adjective, yeah. It's new, but more. <laughs> okay, so it's, the word was additional. Oh, okay, no, so I wouldn't have gotten it was, that. If you sign up now, you'll get additional member benefits, and the company plans to hire 10 additional employees this year, and they may or may not be there. <laughs> 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 <laughs>